CES 2018, the biggest party of the year for technology. And among the keynotes, Intel's CEO, Brian Crisanna, showing off a kitchen sink of tech from VR. We place multiple cameras around the perimeter of a playing field. To pilotless helicopters. Let's let it fly. To a legion of drones. You just witnessed the world's first 100 drone indoor flight show without GPS. To, why not, an NFL quarterback. The real Tony Romo. Hey, Tony. But amidst the hype, there was an elephant in the room. The flaws in Intel's chip design. Flaws known as Spectre and Meltdown. They allow hackers to steal data from computers running on Intel CPUs. How many computers? Well, Intel makes 90% of the world's computer processors and 99% of the server chips that power the internet. This flaw effectively puts every PC, smartphone, and server in the world at risk. Kersan has tried to sue the concerns. As of now, we have not received any information that these exploits have been used to obtain customer data. Not yet. But hackers have proven themselves to be persistent. And the patch for the flaw is flawed itself. It can slow chip speed up to 30%. It hasn't helped the stock performance. But the bigger question, will this security threat threaten Intel sales? The company still struggles to crack the smartphone market. And companies like Amazon, Apple, and Google are all working on their own chips. And to make matters worse, in the six months since Intel was stealthily trying to work on a fix for the flaw, Corsana sold $24 million in Intel shares. Now, the company says it's a routine sale, but that hasn't stopped U.S. lawmakers from demanding that the DOJ and the SEC investigate. Now, the last time Intel had to fix a big chip problem like this was the 1994 Pentium recall. That cost Intel $475 million. That kind of problem might not fly with investors. Corey Johnson, Bloomberg, San Francisco.